All right, you guys ready for the word? How many are ready for the word? I know last week you guys talked about John the Baptist. And so today, we're going to be kind of transferring to that same, um, you know, um, sequence. Well, we're talking about Christmas. Are you guys ready? All right, so if you, you guys have some notes, I believe. How many of you here got some notes? And so bear with us. The Spanish and English. So there's going to be something good. How many can say amen? And so today, my friends, we're in this, in this Advent and Christmas season. So Advent just means coming. So we are joyfully waiting for the celebration of Christ. In this nativity scene at Christmas, and all believers are joyfully waiting with the great anticipation of the second coming of Christ. So today, if you're a Christian, you must be happy. You, you must be joyfully waiting because there is a second coming. Amen? Today we are going to look at Mary. Vamos a ver la vida de Maria. Mary was the mother of Jesus. Maria fue la madre de Jesús. And we're going to be talking about the visitation that the book of Luke reports. And so first, Primeramente. we're going to be talking about the verses 26 to 38 on the, on, the, on, the, on the first chapter of Luke. El a 38 en el libro de Lucas. And so we're going to be just kind of par paraphrasing we're going to be telling you the story because if we do the reading we're going to take a lot longer and so I know a lot of you guys probably know the story and a lot of you guys probably don't but we're going to be paraphrasing let's begin and so from verses 26 to 38 verse 26 goes like this Mary's story begins with the first chapter with God sending Gabriel he sends this messenger and so you have a picture of Mary she gets visited and so when, when Gabriel shows up this is what he said on verse 28 he says greeting all favor one the Lord is with you I'm not sure if you guys can kind of relate but if you, if you notice and when an angel appears to someone their reaction will be like of fear if I see an angel, I will be scared. Well, first of all, we don't know exactly what it looks like. The Bible describes what what they look like. Primeramente, no sabemos exactamente cómo se ven, aunque la Biblia dice un poco. And based on that description, pero basada en esa descripción, I will be feared. Yo sí sentiría temor. And so we relate that Mary was fearful. Y podemos relacionarnos con ella que sentía temor. But in verse 30, pero en el verso 30, Gabriel just reassures her. Él le reasegura, Do not be afraid. Que no tenga temor. You have found favor with God. Le dice, porque has hallado gracia delante de Dios. Gabriel says, Mary. Gabriel don't, le dice, don't be scared. No tengas miedo, María. We are in the same team. Estamos en el mismo equipo. You will be having a baby named Jesus. Tendrás un hijo y le llamarás Jesús. And so there's this prophecy. So hay una profecía. That has been fulfilled. Que se está cumpliendo. And we we notice this since, since the first book of, of the Bible in the book of Genesis. Se ve aún en el libro de Génesis. In, in verse 3, verse 15. En el capítulo 3, 15. Where God is fulfilling the promise. Dios ya está cumpliendo una promesa. In the book of Luke. En el libro de Lucas. Now you can understand that Mary is being a little bit troubled. Pero puedes entender cómo ella se siente turbada. You know, she is virgin. Porque era virgen. So she couldn't really understand. So ya no entendía. And let me, let me give you guys something to look at real Déjeme quick. Les doy algo de ver, a, para person, ver. a person that I admire. 
una um, persona que yo admiro. I have a sister-in-law. Yo tengo una cuñada. Who's, who's currently pregnant. Que ahorita está embarazada. I'd like her to just come here real quick. Y yo quiero pedirle que pase. And so can you just imagine Mary? Puedes her, imaginarte a María. My sister-in-law is, is Anne Marie. Ella se llama Anne Marie. And she's she's pregnant currently. Y ella ahorita está embarazada. And so just visually. Pero puedes visualizar. Can you imagine? Puedes imaginarte. The angel Gabriel telling her. Que el ángel viniera y le dijera, You're gonna have a baby. vas a tener un niño. And Mary couldn't really understand it there. Pero María no podía entender. She was like, How? Pero dijo, ¿cómo? For I am, I'm a virgin. Si yo soy una virgen, How is this gonna happen? ¿cómo esto va a suceder? There's a lot of questions. Habían muchas preguntas. But Mary, Pero María, being faithful, siendo fiel, she accepted it. ella lo aceptó. You can pass. You can pass. Gracias. I just want you guys to see it. <laughs> And so you, guys, que so you guys see where I'm going? Pero si ven a donde voy. You guys see where, where the story is going? Ven donde va la historia. And so all this happened y todo esto sucede through the Holy Spirit. A través del Espíritu Santo. And so in the, power, in the power of the Most High. En el poder del Altísimo. So this child will be este niño. born and called Call the son of the Holy Son of God. Sería llamado el Santo Hijo de Dios. And Gabriel also tells Mary y Gabriel también le dice a María that her aunt Elizabeth, que su pariente Elizabeth, in her old barren age, will have a son. En su edad ya anciana y estéril, iba a tener un hijo. Isn't that amazing? Que no es esto algo increíble. It wasn't just Mary. No era nomás María. It was also Elizabeth. Pero también Elizabeth. And we could see in some verses back before uh, 139. Y podemos ver eso un poco atrás en los versos 30 y... So when you have time when you go home you can si read it. Tiempo, cuando vaya a su casa, léalo. Read it so you can understand léalo it. Todo para que puedan entenderlo. And verse 37, Pero en el verso 37 This is my favorite verse. Este es mi, mi verso favorito. Where it says that nothing is impossible for God. Dice nada es imposible para Dios. There's nothing. No hay nada. I mean look at me folks. Digo mírenme a mí. I didn't know I was going to be a pastor. Yo no sabía que Dios me llamaría a ser un pastor. But God is calling me. Pero Dios me está llamando. There's nothing impossible for him. No hay nada imposible para Dios. Just like Mary, a virgin. Así como María era virgen. And she got, and she expected God, the Son of God, within her. Pero ella estaba esperando al Hijo de Dios and, en su vientre. And so don't miss, don't miss this day. Pero agarra esto. The angel Gabriel also visited Zechariah. El ángel también visitó a Zacarías. And his response was not the same. It's not what we expected it. No fue lo que esperábamos. In reference to Zechariah. Voy a dar una referencia de Zacarías. He was a godly priest. Él era un sacerdote he was de a, Dios. He was the husband of Elizabeth. Era el esposo de Elizabeth. And he was also visited by Gabriel. Y a él también lo visitó el ángel Gabriel. But he had a little, a little bit of doubt. Pero él tuvo duda. And so he was muted. Y a él lo silenciaron. So can you imagine what he went through? Se pueden imaginar lo que él pasó. Can you imagine? Se pueden imaginar. He was just going and giving signs with his hands. Él estaba dando señales con sus manos. He couldn't say what happened. Porque no podía decir qué pasó. But I'm going to give you guys three points today. Y ahora nos vamos a enfocar en tres puntos. Say three points. Tres puntos. First point. Primero. I want you guys to notice that Mary's response must be ours. Quiero que vean que la respuesta que tuvo María debe ser como nosotros respondemos. What was her response? ¿Cuál fue la respuesta? For she said, I am the servant of the Lord. Ella dijo, Let it be ac according to your word, Gabriel. Yo soy la sierva del Señor. Hágase en mí en según tu palabra. And that was in Luke 138. Eso lo vemos en Lucas 138. You see the way Mary responded? La manera que respondió María. We must respond to God. Nosotros debemos responderle a Dios. With that same response. Con esa respuesta. Grab it. Agárrala. She placed herself completely in God's hands. Ella se puso completamente en las manos de Dios. Even though she knew the outcome could be shame or death. Aunque ella sabía que que podría resultar en vergüenza o hasta la muerte. That was scary. Eso era algo temeroso. That was scary. Algo temeroso. But God's ways are above ours. Pero la, lo que Dios hace es aún mayor de lo, nuestros pensamientos. You see, God, you see, what everyone was expecting Todos esperaban was that the Savior would come from a very high, sophisticated position. Que el Salvador iba a nacer de un lugar muy sofisticado. Not a lowly, unknown name, Mary. No de una humilde, desconocida llamada María. From Nazareth. Que venía de Nazaret. 
My question to you, what are Pregunta you, para ti. What were you expecting this morning? ¿Qué esperabas tú esta mañana? Were you expecting me to give you the word? Estabas esperando que yo iba a predicar. Because God can use anyone. Porque Dios puede usar el quien. In use. fact, He can use you. Y él te puede usar a ti. He can use you. Él te puede usar a ti. God uses the humble and opposes the proud. Dice que Dios usa los humildes y se opone a los soberbios. We see that in James 4:6. Nos dice en el libro de Santiago 4:6. And let's 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 keep on, let's keep on going. Verses 30. Vamos a continuar. Verses 39 to 45. El verso 39 a 45. And so right after the encounter with the angel Gabriel, so después de tener ese encuentro con Gabriel, Mary left right away from Nazareth to the hill country of Judah. María partió inmediatamente y se fue hacia la región de Judá. That was a very long walk. Era una, un, un viaje muy largo. So according to the scholars, they said it was about 80 to 100 miles. Um, a, a los hechos que vemos dicen que estaba 80 a 100 millas de distancia. It's like walking from Springfield to Champaign. Es como caminar de aquí a Champaign. Oh, it's a lot of walking. Es mucho caminar. But she wanted to go out there with her auntie. Pero ella quería salir con su pariente Elizabeth. El Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Yeah, where she received further confirmation of the angel's words. Donde ella recibió más confirmación de la palabra del ángel Gabriel. And we see on verse 41. Vemos en el verso 41. At the sound of Mary's voice, the baby John left. In Elizabeth's womb. Dice que aconteció que cuando yo Elizabeth la salutación de María, la criatura saltó en su vientre. It almost feels like this was a fairy tale. Casi como un cuento de hadas. But this word is truth. Pero esta palabra es verdad. This is what the history says. Esto es lo que dice nuestra historia. I know it almost sounds impossible, right? Yo sé right? que suena mucho imposible. But the baby limped. Pero el bebé saltó. As soon as Mary got in the house. En cuanto María entró. It almost feels like Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit. Es como Elizabeth fue llena del Espíritu Santo. And this was the greatest announcement in the world. Y este fue uno de los más grandes anuncios del mundo. It was God's plan for redemption in motion with the coming of John and the Savior Jesus. Era el plan de Dios de redención um, en la venida de Juan y de nuestro Salvador Jesús. And so Elizabeth, filled with the Holy Spirit, breaks out. With a shout of praise. Elizabeth, llena del Espíritu Santo, la recibe con voces de alabanza. This is amazing. Esto es asombroso. And you see, there's miracle after miracle taking place. Vemos que hay milagro tras milagro ocurriendo. But how did Elizabeth know? ¿Cómo sabía Elizabeth? How did she know? ¿Cómo sabía? That her niece Mary was carrying in her womb the Savior of the world. Que su pariente María también que estaba cargando al Salvador en su vientre. Elizabeth's greeting blessed Mary. Y ese saludo de Elizabeth bendició a María. It blesses Mary, her, her child, Elizabeth herself, the ultimately everyone who believes God's word. Ella la saludó y la bendijo a ella, a ella misma, sus y a todos en general que creen en la palabra de Dios. Blessing after blessing. Una bendición tras bendición. And we get related. Because when, when we hear that someone's pregnant, you get this joy. Porque cuando escuchamos que alguien está embarazada, nos da gozo. But there's more than joy in this story. Pero en esta historia hay más que gozo. And don't miss this today. Y no, no, no se te pase esto el día de hoy. There's this blessedness. The God, God's blessing and favor are for the humble. Hay bienaventuranza y las bendiciones son de Dios. Están a favor de quienes son humildes. You notice that? Notice ¿Han it? ¿Han visto esto? Isn't that amazing? Esto es algo bonito. That's the blessedness of God. Y esa es la bienaventuranza de Dios. Because God can use anyone. Porque Dios puede usar quien él guste. He can use you. He can él use me. Él te puede usar a ti. Me puede usar a mí. And His bless, His blessedness goes for everybody. Y sus bienaventuranzas son para todos. Just like today. Como el día de hoy. These two beautiful churches. Dos congregaciones. One kingdom. Un reino. There's this blessing that's going on today. Y hay una bien, uh, que está el día de hoy. But we must respond to the word. A la palabra. Receive it. Recibela. And that leads me to my second point. Esto me lleva a mi punto número dos. And don't, don't miss this. In response, Mary is moved to praise through a song. En respuesta, vemos que María es movida a alabar a través de un canto. So Mary sings. This song that is coming out that we're going to be talking about, and I will sing it for you. No, not to. Y María empieza a, a cantar este canto y se las voy a cantar ahora. I won't sing. No, no se cree. You'll thank me later. Pero You'll después la van a escuchar. And so there's this praise song. Pero hay un cántico. 
These verses cause us to look up joyfully. Y esto, estos versículos nos dan gozo. For we know that God is at work. Porque podemos ver que Dios está obrando. And when we recognize that work, cuando reconocemos que él está obrando, we must rejoice. Deberíamos de sentir gozo. God's promises should never make us passive. Las promesas de Dios no deberían de hacernos pasivos. They should prompt us deberían to, to seize them with faith. A agarrarnos de ellos con fe. Question. Pregunta. What promises has God given you? ¿Qué promesas te ha dado Dios a ti? Are you ready for them? ¿Estás listo para are ello? You, are you acting on them? ¿Estás actuando en esto? We must act on it. Deberíamos actuar en esto. Verses 46 to 50. El verso 46 al 50. Go ahead, read. Dice, engrandece mi alma al Señor y mi espíritu se regocija en Dios mi Salvador, porque ha mirado la vejeza de su sierva, pues he aquí desde ahora me dirá, bienaventurada todas las generaciones, porque me ha hecho grandes cosas el poderoso santo es su nombre y su misericordia es de generación en generación and, a los que le temen. Yes, and Mary said, my soul magnify the Lord and my spirit rejoice in God my Savior, for he has looked up on the humble state of his servant. For behold, from now on all generations will call me blessed. For who he is mighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name, and his mercy is for those who fear him from generation to generation. And so we notice that Mary received a gift. And she remained fixed on trusting God's faithfulness. And he was rewarded. You see, when you want to see something better, you want to magnify it. Cuando tú quieres que algo sea mejor, lo magnificas. You magnify it. That's, what, that's exactly what Mary did. Es lo que María hizo. She wanted to put all of her focus Ella poner todo su on God. Dios. We see that in, in verse 46. Vemos en el verso 46. And so don't forget what Mary also recognizes her need for a, save, a saving. And so she places herself as a servant. Ella se coloca como en posición de sierva. This word servant Esta palabra sierva, it's born a slave. Es como un pacto de servidumbre. To the one who she was carrying in her womb. Ella en su so she was going to deliver this baby. Ella iba a tener este bebé. Later on down the road. Pero más allá, Jesus was going to deliver her. Jesus la iba, la iba delivered. She was going to be delivered through the Messiah. Ella también iba a ser salva a través Amen. de él. Isn't that amazing? ¿Qué no es algo asombroso? That's God's ways. Esta es la manera de Dios. They go beyond our understandings. Es encima de nuestro entendimiento. And so Mary recognizes that within her strength comes from her humble low status. Y María reconoció que su fuerza provenía de su estado de humildad. And now everything has changed. Y que ahora todo cambió. This fear mentioned is not a, a, a it's not a bad fear, it's a reverent fear and a respectful fear. El temor que nos menciona es un temor reverente y de respeto. For he truly is God. Porque verdaderamente él era el Dios. So you notice sometimes we're scared. Muchas veces sentimos temor. But we gotta be in fear of God. Pero debemos sentir temor a, a in, Dios. In reverence. En reverencia. When we truly acknowledge who He is. Cuando realmente reconocemos quién Él es. But her praise went beyond herself. Pero vemos que su, su alabanza fue más allá que ella misma. To embrace all that God will do for others in the future. Porque aún ella estaba hablando del futuro. So notice with this song. En este cántico. There was a lot of prophecies that were coming in. Había muchas profecías que se estaban cumpliendo. She was telling the baby. That he will become the savior. But she was also quoting Psalm 103:17, which we notice that Mary knew the she knew the word. She knew the word very, very well. Verses 51 to 55. Vamos a leer versículos 51 al 55. Dice, ha mostrado fortaleza con su brazo. Ha dispersado a los soberbios en los pensamientos de sus corazones. Derribó de sus tronos a los poderosos y enalteció a los humildes. Ha colmado de bienes a los hambrientos y ha despedido a los ricos con las manos vacías. Ha ayudado a su siervo Israel en memoria de su misericordia. Como habló a nuestros padres, a Abraham y su descendencia para siempre. 
follow me. He has shown strength with his arm. He has scattered the proud in the thoughts of their hearts. He has brought down the mighty from their thrones and exalted those of humble state. He has filled the hungry with good good things and re and the rich he has sent away empty. He has helped his servant Israel in remembrance of his mercy as he spoke to our fathers, to Abraham and to his offsprings. Wow, what a beautiful word. Wow, qué it almost feels like everything is backwards. Right? Si todo fuera al revés, God uses the humble, Dios usa lo humilde, not the proud. Y no al Mary is speaking prophetically of her son Jesus, María está sobre Jesús, who was not yet born, que aún había nacido, and describes these things as he has already accomplished them. Lo como si él ya hubiera, uh, todo esto. She was recognizing who God is. Quién era Dios. Because God helped in the needy, and so if there's anyone who should have been disqualified it was Israel you see they were just missing the point with all of their faults but he is a God who keeps his promises and in the kingdom of God the key that unlocks all the doors is humility humility we must be humble there you find the grace and the attention of God when we, be when we become humble God looks at you when you recognize that you need him he doesn't recognize those who feel like self-sufficient he recognizes those who, who are humble those who look up to him those who pray to him those who want him we need him point number three so the coming of Christ brings a twist in society the proud the proud are brought low and the humble are lifted up what men call luck Mary was calling it the work of God and so if we get in the shoes of the Israelites let's get in their shoes we're talking on, on the book of Luke that, that's the New Testament and so this happened right in the middle of the New Testament and the Old Testament in between and so there have been 400 years of silence and so many lost their interest in waiting for the Messiah they were, they were just losing the hope question today what about you guys aren't we waiting for him are you guys waiting for him for his second coming or are we just satisfied satisfy as if everything is just normal we must recognize and rejoice in the work of God and so today beloved, my, my beloved friends I am hoping that this message through Mary's song will just bring a spark in our worship and our prayers in this beautiful moment of Advent and, and Christmas season yes we praise a merciful God who uses the humble, who uses the poor, who uses the weak. Adoramos a un Dios que usa al que usa al humilde, al pobre y al débil. He uses those. Él los usa. The Lord will meet you right where you are. El Señor te va a ver ahí justo donde tú estás. You see, we begin seeing in your when you start seeing yourself the way God sees you. God sees you with all these amazing qualities. Some of you guys can't even speak better than me. You see, I'm not the smartest. I'm not the fastest. I'm not the tallest. And if he can use me, he can use you. 
But you need to believe it. Tienes que creerlo. For we are his workmanship. Porque nosotros somos hechura. We were, cre we were created in Christ Jesus. Creados en Cristo Jesús. For the good works. Para buenas obras. Which God prepared, he prepared beforehand. Las cuales Dios preparó antemano. That we should walk in them. Para que anduviésemos en ellas. We need to walk in them. Tenemos que caminar en ellas. God wants to use you. Dios te quiere usar. How are we going to respond? ¿Cómo vas a responder? How are you going to respond? ¿Cómo vas a responder? Do you want to respond like Mary? ¿Vas a responder como María? With faith. Con fe. Yes. Sí. I want to respond. Yo quiero responder. This morning when I was praying. Esta mañana cuando yo estaba orando. I was relating to Mary. Estaba relacionándome con María. I noticed that maybe she was scared. Maybe she that she had all of these thoughts. Y que ella tenía miedo. Quizás tenía muchos pensamientos. Just like I'm having those thoughts. Quizás como yo también los he tenido. But I decided to respond. Pero yo decidí like Mary I want to respond like Mary como I want to sing to the God a Dios, the one true God único Dios y I want to respond in faith con fe. and so today you have the privilege so el día de hoy, tú ese through this word esta palabra, to respond de respond to God's word de la de Dios. and if you receive it y si tú lo recibes, we must act on it entonces tienes que, oh, actuar. Thank you.